You wait months to shoot intros and a builder starts work at the top of my road. Unbelievable, you couldn't write it. Anyway, welcome back to the Pratt Cave. Yes, back by popular demand apparently. I put something out on my community page via YouTube and everyone answered and said, you want the intros back, so here we are. Uh, right, this is a Valet Pro sponsored video. This is an interior video. Now you've seen me do interiors before. This is a bit more in depth. We have got a lot of products to get through. I'm not gonna mention all of them now, but this is just one of them. This is the Advanced Interior Cleaner for carpets and upholstery. We're gonna be using that. We've got a spot cleaner. We've got all-purpose cleaner. And we've got protectors and leather soap and all sorts of stuff. And we are using Valet Pro stuff all by one thing. And that's one of those scrubber dubber pad things, which more about that later on in the video. Anyway, that's your intro, the first of many. Go and grab yourself a very, very strong drink because you're going to need it. Let's be honest with you, you're going to need it because who loves doing interiors? I don't know. Me? Well, you'll find out. Anyway, roll the video. So here we go then. This is the BMW, my son's BMW, 1999. Yep, and it's complete with coffee stains. Thank you to Starbucks or Costa Coffee, Costa Packet. Mmm, nice. Left a receipt in there for me as well. How kind. A little bit of damage going on, you can see it. A bit of um, damage around this area. Uh, apart from that, it's in pretty good order. I've got to be honest, this vehicle is in good nick. And it comes complete with the factory fitted cassette player. Those of you who are old enough, remember those. That's the original head unit. So we've got some nastiness down here in the kick panel area, which is the usual place to get all the grubbiness. And on the door handles. We deal with those door handles later on. Factory fitted mats. Fantastic, those mats. They must have cost a fortune back in the day. Nice place to be, this. Lovely color. Not the most practical color. Not from a detailer's point of view. The rear of the car isn't that bad, to be honest with you. Yeah, those seats need sorting out but the rear seat we're not going to worry about. However, the front seat, different matter. Driver's side and passenger side have embedded dirt. And that's unusual, a coffee stain. We'll be sorting those seats out later on, but we begin by removing those lovely luscious mats and then putting those to one side. We'll be dealing with those later on. Got my trusty pneumatic forever by my side. This thing is still going strong. You can actually get two sorts of filters for that. You can get the uh, fabric ones, whatever they are, the white ones, which I believe trap more nastiness than the paper ones. Paper ones, mm, not that good. And it's pretty pokey. Got a couple of those machines, but this one is the better of the two. So get rid of all the junk at the carpet and these are a dream to vacuum because they're so thick and they are so well made. I don't know what's happened to carpets over the years. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments section. Modern carpets in cars, they save on weight but they save on quality and they're blooming awful to be honest with you. We're going to try and cover a few more videos with interiors later on this year. Valet Pro Detailing Brush. This will come in handy to release all the junk. Before we go in with any chemicals, get rid of this. If you go in with chemicals, you'll just move all the junk around and just, quite frankly, make muesli. And nobody likes muesli anyway. So get rid of it first, get rid of all this stuff, and then we'll come back later on with some chemicals. So a stubborn stained area, this part where the handbrake is and in that little bit, that cubby hole where you put your loose change, uh, there is a sticker in there and some coffee. Nice. So we'll get rid of all the loose stuff the best we can and then we're going to tackle that with some chemical. So looking at this, it has aged and there is a little bit of damage. We've got to be a little bit careful what tools we use. However, you can up the game on this part. It's quite a tough dashboard, apart from that head unit. We don't want to damage that. So we're going to bust out the detailing brush and we're going to hold the detailing brush right at the end to make the bristles stiffer. 
Why would you want to do that when you can use a stiffer brush? Because if you use a stiffer brush, you may damage that lovely fascia. So hold that like that, and then it makes them stiffer and gets rid of the junk. Easy. Classic all-purpose cleaner now, dilutable product. You can use this on exterior and interior. We're going to get rid of those nasty Costa coffee or Costa packet, as I call it. Costa packet stains, and we're going to use a detailing brush, not because we love looking good on camera. That's impossible. I can never look good on camera, but it will get rid of all the harsh, horrible stains and coffee stains and sweat off those switches. Boom, done. Back to the nasty, I suppose it must be latte. Stubborn latte stain. We're gonna have several goes at this. Now, I did think about stepping this up and one thing I could have done is used a steamer. I've got a steamer, but if you use a steamer in areas like this, especially around leather, you might dry the leather out. And also, I don't like the look of the coating on that plastic. Some of that has come away over the years and I don't want to do any further damage. So I'm just going to give it a second hit with the all-purpose clean and the cloth and just use a bit of elbow grease. I say elbow grease, I mean my massive Edward shovel fingers. And then go at it a bit more with a brush and we will get rid of that. That was getting on my nerves. That was the backing of, I think it was a receipt that was stuck in there. On to the door card area. Drop your windows down first. Don't smother your windows in chemical. So same chemical, same technique with the brush. Hold it on the end, create a little bit more, more stiffness. Easy. And we're going to treat the bottom part first. And that edge, I hate seeing it when you get the doors that are open and you've got that black line of filth going down the edge of the door card. It ruins it. No need to go nuts here. Just work it into the plastic and then get rid of it. And then we're going to take care of that leather insert in a bit. So this is one thing which Valet Pro did not send me. This is a scrubber pad. I've got a number of these. I'll put a link where you can get them from. They're great for textured plastic. This happens to be harsher than a microfiber and seems to work better than a detailing brush. However, on the rear of the vehicle, that's different. Now, this is the B pillar. And I want to show you this because I was quite shocked at the amount of grime that came off of this. This is a leather brush from Valet Pro. Same chemical, watch the amount of filth. Just, this is off your hands as you get into a vehicle, in and out of a vehicle. That is just from that area. It's quite frightening, isn't it? And then you'll go and eat a sandwich when you come in. Mm, lovely. So rear of the vehicle, just use a detailing brush on this part, the little kicks panel step, whatever you want to call it. And it works really well, it works wonders, easy peasy. So the backs of many seats in many cars have this main problem. It's often caused by those things, what they call, they're horrible, they smell and cost a lot of money and they don't really do a lot. Kids, that's it, kids. Yeah, they're often caused by that or perhaps, in this case, a work bag being put on the back seat with some work boots in it. Cup of tea now and what appears to be squirrel food. Hmm. Leather soap, which is a gel-like formula. And then we're gonna work this into the seats with a wax applicator. It's nice and soft. We're gonna get it into the seat, but we are gonna follow it up with the slightly stiffer leather brush. Now, this isn't super stiff. It's stiff enough to work. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'll leave that alone. So work this in and then wipe off any residue with the cloth. And we're gonna come back to those seats later on. There's a quick 50-50 and that is just of the passenger side. So it works. Inlay time now. So on this, I actually used a leather cleaner. I got a bit overexcited and I thought, you know what, we'll try leather cleaner on the whole lot. And it did actually work. 
However, on driver's side, I had to step it up with the all-purpose cleaner because that was particularly bad. Paddle area now. Something which really winds me up when I get in the car and I see really dirty pedals. Now, these aren't really bad. Now, normally you would bust out a steamer. I don't really want to use a steamer in this car because it's got leather in it and leather is a natural product and you can dry it out. I know there's no leather down here, but there is elsewhere in the car. They're not that bad, to be honest with you. Hey, presto, dry them off. Don't leave them wet. And then this, of course, you don't like the person. Just leave them wet. No, don't do that. Dry them off. Done job. Comes to the steering wheel. You've got to remember how many germs are on your hands and how grubby these things get. Get. and you can of course use really strong chemicals and then you'll strip all the decals off your steering wheel and the owner won't thank you so we're going to use the same chemical the interior cleaner it's kind enough but it's strong enough to do its job work it in with a detailing brush and then buff it off i have used steamers in the past where vehicles are so bad where you've got caked on makeup obviously no makeup has been worn in this car. At least I hope it hasn't, because I've got a son. So there you go. Each to their own. Leather protector. Now we've opened up the pores in the seats and the leather. Yep, transit locks for Valet Pro products. Fantastic idea. Now we've opened up the pores, we want to then protect them protect them from anything else, mainly coffee stains, to be honest with you. So you're going to work this in, leave it for a bit, and then we're going to buff it off as if by magic with my amazing editing skills. And yes, there is some wear on that seat. So back to the inlays, we're going to use it on the inlays as well. And don't forget the plastics. Who would forget the plastics? We'll come to that in a minute. It's slightly foamy, this stuff. Get it in there and then buff it off. And there you go, as if by magic. Next up, Citrus Bling. Now this is in fact primarily a QD, a quick detailer. It's a traditional one. You can use this to remove greasy finger marks to help give it back its bling. And that's what it does makes the shiny stuff shiny if you've got uh, one of those infotainment systems you know a big screen especially if you drive a Tesla blimey like a 28 inch screen in the middle you can use that and on areas around here around my knob I mean gear stick stick shift if you're in America it says a lot about Great Britain when we call something a knob and then in America they call it a stick shift yeah so that blings up that area and that's done. And then the inlays on the doors as well, you can go around those. Advanced interior cleaner now. And classic carpet cleaner. So remember the mats. First of all, vacuum off all of the off. Blimey, what's the matter with me? I need a coffee, that's what I need. Vacuum off all the loose debris and all the fluff. And then we're gonna come in with something slightly more powerful. Yes, the pressure washer. Now, if these are rubber, simple. But they're not the carpet, so we're gonna have to use a number of different techniques to get these looking fresh again and get them smelling nice again. So I'm gonna power wash these off get off all the mud, the loose debris, all the junk, and then we're going to start the process. So we're going to liberally spray this with the advanced cleaner, and get it worked in there. You can do this by hand with a brush, or you can use one of these, a drill brush. Everybody knows cordless drills are made for this, not meant for putting up shelves or sheds. Slightly messy, but it works. A little bit of pressure on that drill, put it on the fastest setting, and away you go.
So that is now worked in, and now we're going to flush it out again with the pressure washer, get rid of all that foam. Little trick for you, window squeegee. This will get rid of the bulk of the water before we extract it with our machine. If you haven't got an extractor, you can do this and then you can peg them up somewhere and dry them. Providing it's a sunny day. Henry Wash, this has been my go-to extraction machine. You can still get these. And yes, I am going to do this in proper speed because this is how long it takes to extract carpets. So if I hadn't got rid of all that water, all I'd have done was fill my machine out quicker. And you can see how much water's in the mats by the indentations of my fingers. This is one of the most satisfying things you can do. Well, almost. This is satisfying. Seeing the color change on these mats Yes, it's like watching paint dry. Classic carpet cleaner now. Uh, this is kind of like a spot cleaner. So if you've spilt something on your mats and your footwell, I don't know, say something like coffee, for argument's sake, you can then treat it with this. It doesn't foam up quite so much as the previous products, or does it? Check out my trousers in a minute. What idiot kneels down and then does this? Why don't you stand? What is wrong with you, Paul? Oh dear. Trouser accident. Uh, classic protectant. So this is for the plastics. Namely, the rear of the seats. This will stop any dirt build up. And of course you can use it on other plastic surfaces and it's just to stop any grime and it's waterproof. It actually waterproofs it, to be, be honest with you. So if you spill anything, you can just wipe it off. Enzyme odor eater. Now I've used this in my Skoda, even after extracting after a very, very nasty accident with some rubbish and it stunk to high heaven. I used some of this and it does work. They are fantastic. It neutralizes the bacteria and leaves it smelling fantastic. And that is it, ladies and gents. Thanks to Valet Pro once again. We will be coming back with more Valet Pro videos and lots of other videos. Thanks for being patient with the channel and please keep subscribing. Keep loving the videos and click the notification bell for future uploads. And please listen to the Spec Import Talk Detailing Podcast. Thanks again and I'll see you again on the next video. Ta-ra!